standing at the door of the Illinois State Museum's Research and Collection Center. This is where many of the 13.8 million objects in the museum's collections are held. Uh, these collections are used for a variety of purposes. They're used for educational purposes, to build exhibits, and to conduct research. The Research and Collection Center is 100,000 square feet in size. There are major collections that are held here, in particular anthropology, decorative arts, geology, and zoology, each one of which is held in a chamber which the temperature and humidity are controlled to preserve the collections. The geology collection contains three major groups of materials. One would be vertebrates, and largely what we have here are vertebrates that are associated with the Ice Age, the mammoths, the mastodon skeleton, giant ground sloth. Another collection is the Rocks and Minerals Collection. It's an extraordinary group of materials that represent uh, things from fluorite to other minerals that are found throughout the state. And we have marine invertebrates, uh, a variety of fossils from when Illinois was uh, a marine environment. So objects in the geology collection represent a remarkable cross-section of life on Earth in Illinois. We continue to ask new questions, drawn from the use of new technology, different ideas, gives rise to greater understanding and knowledge about these objects. In the future, people will come back to these collections with new questions and new pieces of technology to unravel even deeper secrets about the objects themselves and what they tell us about the history of Illinois. In the zoology collections, we have a range of different types of specimens. So we have taxidermy, mammals, and birds that are used in education and exhibits. We have research specimens, including fluid specimens, which are amphibians and reptiles stored in fluids for research. We have skeletons and dried skins that are used in research of mammals and birds. We have freshwater mussels that are used in research, documenting the diversity of these animals over the landscape um, through time. We have insect collections of multiple species, butterflies and beetles that are all stored uh, with collection information so we can go back to these materials over time and uh, learn about where these animals were and what they were doing. The anthropology collection consists largely of archaeological specimens that have been found throughout the state of Illinois. The collection now numbers something over 35,000 containers of objects that have been collected during the museum's history. These objects represent most of the aboriginal societies that once were resident in Illinois, as well as uh, collections from our own forebears in the early 19th century and early 20th century. In addition, we have what we call an ethnographic collection. These are materials made by historic native people. We have a fantastic basket collection from the uh, western part of the United States. We have ceramic materials from the pueblos of uh, New Mexico and Arizona and a variety of other objects from places like Africa. The collection consists of some extraordinary pieces, unique examples of objects that have been found in the United States. One of them is called the Emmons Mask. This mask is about 900 years old, was found on a piece of ground near the Illinois River Valley in Fulton County, and probably represents a rattle made out of cedar wood. It is also painted with a lead paint. It's an extraordinary specimen. There's nothing like it that's been found. This is the decorative arts collection. It consists of a variety of objects that people would have used in everyday life in Illinois. It ranges from examples of furniture to dolls to other kinds of materials like children's toys. It chronicles the history of the life of people in Illinois, and every one of them has a story to tell. Closer scrutiny may find a writing desk that would have been used by someone to pen letters back to family members in the East, or a chest of drawers that would have held materials gathered from marketplaces around the world and brought to Illinois as a part of their everyday life. The decorative arts collection also includes quilts. These remarkable objects are housed in boxes and you'll notice that at the end of every box there are photographs of the quilts themselves that gives the curator an opportunity to locate particular specimens. The quilts themselves are extraordinary examples of early frontier and 
in fact, late 19th century art that would have been undertaken in the household by members of the family. The collection housed here at the Illinois State Museum Research and Collection Center represents the cultural and natural heritage of Illinois. The people who care for this collection do so with incredible passion, with the idea that what they're doing is preserving it for the next generation of museum people to come in and hold it in perpetuity for future generations to learn from, to study, and to understand. <laughs>